Greetings Patriots, this is Bootorials, I'm your host Craig, and today's subject is... Alrighty, so the reason so many people end up in a boot that's either too big or not suitable for them is because we're really not familiar on the sensations that you should be feeling inside your boot. Now the biggest problem we face all stems out of your childhood and your mother trying to be frugal. Now I know you love your mother, but sadly she has misguided you. Make sure you got room in them toes to grow. Jesus, mom, I'm like 30. But you aren't growing anymore. That stopped as a teenager. But you got used to wearing big shoes and having extra space in front of your toes. But all is not lost. When you do get accustomed to a proper ski boot fit, you're gonna to start to love the feeling of your feet being snug and secure. And I'm sure you'll start to buy your shoes a little bit smaller to match. So we've already gone through how to check you're in the right size of boot and also what you should be looking for in reference when you are sizing up your shells. But now I want to go through everything you should be feeling in your boots and that way it's not just stuck mentally but you can actually get a sense of what a good fitting boot will be. Number one, whenever we step into a boot you're going to slide in and you're going to go right up to the front. That is every time without exception. Ooh, tight, 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 tight. But then we want to get you off the front of the boot, so we've got to draw your heel right back into the heel pocket. So a good kick. Do up the top two buckles, give it a bit of a flex, and we should release the pressure off the toes. But you are not going to release entirely, and you're still going to have a sensation of an awareness of the front. And this awareness should be the toe box area of your liner. Now your liner is what cushions and insulates the foot, so no extra space is required. You should feel contact throughout the whole toe box, and we want to be able to go up and down with your toes. That's going to be crucial for blood flow on them cold days, but we don't want anything lateral when we're inside the boot. And then we move on to the fit around the foot. And the most common thing you hear is this should feel like a firm handshake. I don't really like this analogy as I feel it just confuses people. But what we're looking for here is a good snugness. We want low, no lateral movement in the boot. And we want to have a nice even contact across the bridge of the foot. We don't want to have excessive pressure down on top of this cuneiform bone. And also we don't want to have too much excessive pressure coming in on that fifth metatarsal. Moving up a little to the instep area of your boot, and this is where we want to feel the good snugness. We want to get locked in here, because that's what's going to hold your heel to the back and really drive your ski boots. So get a nice amount of pressure on that second buckle to feel like you're locked into place. So then around the lower leg and the shin, just like the flex video here, we want to feel a nice even flex as we come forward onto the front of the boot with no abrupt stop or no slide. Now then we look at the heel, and same thing as the forefoot here. We don't want to have any lateral side to side movement in the heel. So if you're trying to test your boot by lifting your heel up in the back, that is not a good way to see if you're held in the heel pocket properly. The reason is you are never doing that action when you're skiing, unless when you're probably tomahawking down the mountain. And it's when you flex and turn, that we shouldn't be getting any heel lift off the boot. And lastly, you should feel nice and evenly balanced and you want a good contact throughout the whole base of your foot. And at this point, just no excessive points of contact anywhere which would build to a pressure point. So there you go. Keep all that in mind when you're next in your ski boots or the next time you're trying on a boot and this is gonna help you with your comfort and your selection. Thanks for watching. Stay rad, be a patriot. Signing out.